So here is what I mean when I say uh, exposure compensation and using exposure compensation on the camera and either through through uh, an automatic button on the camera or through manually expose, uh, doing exposure compensation. So let's say that this represents a scene that you're looking at through your viewfinder. And what you've got over here is you've got, you've got grass, you've got some grassy stuff over here. That represents grass and then it transitions very abruptly into water with a big old tsunami wave or something in it and that's that represents water and and that little fish little fish stuck up there oh no he's frowning he's very afraid then over here we have this tree coming out and Actually, it's not really a tree, it's mutant broccoli. But we've got that tree, and we've got the sun over here. I don't have a yellow dry erase marker, so the sun is red. It's a red giant. We're at the end of time here. And this tree is casting a shadow in this area, which is all well and good, Except that that's where your buddy's standing, waving to you. Or maybe he's being held up at gunpoint, who knows. And uh, so there's your buddy. You want to get a picture of him, but he's in this, this fairly dark, shadowy area. So if you were to take a meter reading of this entire image, let's say that at f5.6, the entire image would be uh, one five hundredth. And the reason is because you've got a lot of bright sunlight up here. There's a lot of light reflecting off of this water and a relatively small area of shade and also the brightness of the sun. So that's going to drive a fairly short exposure period. Now the problem is that this is all going to be properly exposed and this is going to be very dark. So to expose, to compensate for that, what you want to do is shift your camera over to this shaded area and meter off of this shaded area. And that's going to give you something more like f5.6 at one, probably, you know, 60th or 125th, say 160th. Now what that's going to do is that's going to make this properly exposed. And all of this is going to be super blown out and white. And that's okay, because your subject is your buddy who's waving to you from the shade over there. He's saying, neener, 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 I'm in the shade, you're in the hot sun, which is coming to eat our planet because it's a red giant now. And the other thing you could do, is, so what you could do is you take your, your shot at 1 60th to get that properly exposed. You could take 1 500th to get all of this properly exposed. And then you could split the difference at 1 200th, uh, or if you have standard stops on your camera, 1 25th. And that would give you a more even exposure across the entire field. If you're using film, that's a good way to bracket your photos. If you're using digital, you could then recombine all of those in post to make an, a single image which is properly exposed across the entire area.